Especially with BTS. Oh my god. K-pop fans. Oh my god, yung collection nila. How can you afford that? As in, ang mahal. Why are you listening to that song? You don't even understand that lang. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait lang, nag-spiral na yung memory. But, for example, with BTS lang specifically. Ngayon, mas may laman yung mga kanta nila. Okay guys, so I found some things. Let, let us go back down memory lane of being 11 back in 2005 and Hannah Montana was showing and I was into a K-pop artist because my mom Hannah ako and la lang gusto ko lang share Ready da? <laughs> Look, are you really a millennial? I think more on ano to, mga Filipina, mga Filipina queens noon. Ah! <laughs> Iba total girl. Sis. Ako ina ko kikay kikay noon pero sis. Like I had total girl. Kasi mas mura yata yung total girl sa Candy Magazine. Oh my god. So imagine era ng mga OG Disney Star Sila Demi, Jonas Brothers, Miley Selena, Aya. <laughs> Nahanap ko. Oh. Miley, yes. Total Miley fan. It's Taylor Swift. I mean, are you really a Swifty? Kung wala ka nito. Sorry. Sorry. Silly. Are you really a Selena Gomez fan? If you never had this or you never bought magazines, because I think the generation ngayon, most of like, especially Selena, like, marami sa mga fans niya pa rin ngayon or new fans niya is very very young. Listen to Auntie, listen. Like, remember ah, uh, Princess Pro si Malika Bukpa, Princess Protection Program. My God, di ba? Omg. OMG, as in, kinukulik ko talaga to. Promise. Naalala ko na, yung uso pa yung mga newsstand, ano ah, tawag dito? Yung mga nakatayo lang sa mga, sa, sa ano tawag dito? Minsan, minsan sa, sa may abangan ng jeep or sa, sa somewhere lang sa nagbibenta ng mga jaryo. <coughs> diba? Total girl. Or, wala lang candy for some reason. Wala lang candy magazine. Pero, mm, alika po pa promise. Jonas. Sorry, Camp Rock. Diba? Nalala niyo yung Camp Rock. Yung parang we all want to be Mitchy. More Jonas Brothers. Sorry. Mandy Moore. I think this is probably July 2006. Wait, 2000. Lakas ba katanda? 2006. 7, 6, 7, 8, 9. 17 years ago? Wait, what? Wait, tawa mong mat natin. 17 years ago na to? Uy, uy, tanda na. Ano, kasama na tayo. Hello kids, this is called DVD. Again, speaking of Hannah Montana. Oh my God. Sila lang makatanda. OMG. Saka mo binili to? Oh my God. More Hannah Montana. <laughs> diba hindi sila... Hindi ako hikay noon pero mahilig talaga ako sa mga ganito. So, sis. And also... <coughs> <coughs> also share ko lang ha. For me, one of the things na, na parang why I love Hannah Montana because at that time, 2005-2006, um, we moved abroad. So parang yung mga kaklase, tira yung puro English-English. Tapos sabi ko, ay wait lang. Parang na-intimidate ako, so parang minotivate ko yung sarili ko. Pag nanonood ako ng Hannah Montana, ginagaya ko yung English nila. So parang I kind of picked up the little bit na ma-arting eme na kasi parang ganun. Sabi ko, ay dapat ganito din yung English ko. 
So, thanks to Hannah Montana. Medyo umayos yung English natin. Let's move on to more CDs. Ito naman more on artists. Artists. Are you really a Swifty? Sira na nga siya, actually. Oh my god. Demi. Remember Demi, don't forget. Oh my god. Ngayon, wala na kami player. Ay, the city's not here. More Demi. Oh my god. This is... Here we go again. I love this album. This one. Very nice. Oh my god. Emo face. I wish my picture ako. Emo ba? Parang emo punk si Avril eh. So, yun yung mga time na, alam mo yun yung mga hair natin ganyan. Tapos black eyeliner. Ito yun. Yung girlfriend na album niya. The best damn thing. Ang tanda na natin! Again, more Hannah Montana. Imagine that was 17 years ago and I still have this. Collector's item na to. More on Jonas Brothers. Again, I think one of the first album nila to. Um, as in super crush was si Joe ito. Like, I remember, I think it was an episode ng Hannah Montana. They sang like, uh, was a, it was like a, an episode ng Hannah Montana na guest nila yung Jonas Brothers. And I was like, oh my God, crush na crush was si Joe Jonas. I thought I was gonna marry him. Pero masaya, masaya na siya ngayon. Diba? Oh my god, tas lahat sila ngayon. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait lang, nag-spiral na yung memory. Remember, they, like, in their early days, they used to wear purity rings. <laughs> Remember that? And then, yeah, Miley Cyrus. I think to my seven things, yeah. Seven things. Remember Miley and Nick and Selena tri Love Triangle. And then Taylor Swift. The OG album, 2006 yata. 2009! And then, and then, more naman sa, of course, Harry Potter. Always a Potterhead. And, sis, ngayon na, may, may, may issue lang ako ngayon sa K-pop eh. Kasi noon, can I just say, I have like a rant, mini rant. Wait lang, let me fix this. I don't have the other albums, but... Before, uh, I was like a K-pop fan 2009 or 10. And back then, guys, 13, 12 years ago, yeah, when you like K-pop, parang my judgment yung mga tao, why are you listening to that song? You don't even understand that language. Parang, so parang, ano, parang weird yung tingin nila sa mga K-pop fans. And ngayon, ngayon, Aba, lahat army na! Diba? Parang, hindi nyo alam yung pinagdaanan namin. Kami yung mga millennial na K-pop fan na pag, oh my god, I remember yung time na I, I would print yung lyrics. It was like in Korean just so I could memorize or I would watch mix. Remember mix? Tapos yung mag-request ako ng song tapos sasabayan ko yung kanta kahit hindi ko naintindihan yung Korean. So that was the time. This was this was Super Junior. Super Junior parang first ever na K-pop group. Second gen, second gen yata sila. Yeah, na na talang sila yung only so far concert na napanood ko. Super Show 2 and 3. And I remember <laughs> I was email when I was at sa parents ko para lang pag para payagan ako ng ano, manood <laughs> ng concert. <laughs> Tapos, Super Show 3. Eh, kala ko, okay na, okay na. Parang, mm, I've, I've been here before. Ganun. Aba, uminom ako ng shake or something from Dairy Queen. And then soft drinks right after. Tapos, simula na ng show. <laughs> Be, ang chan. Talsiklaw ako, sorry. Be, ang chan ko. Mm -mm, kumukulo na ko. Tapos, Hindi sabi ko, nagtayuan ng mga tao. Oh, eh. O, tumayo na din, natatayo. 
Tapos umutot ako. Apa ka ba? Alam mo yung utot na ano? Yung mahina. Tapos pag umutot ka, <laughs> yung may yung medyo mainit. <laughs> Ay walang ano, walang walang kasama, air lang siya. Yun na utot. Tapos naalala ko, nakausap ko pa before mag-start yung concert. Yung parang katabi ko dito, ganun, chika-chika kami. Tapos mamaya yung pagtayo kong ganyan, 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 umutot ako. Sabi nila, ano ba yan? Ang baho. <laughs> Tapos ako naman, hindi ko na sila pinapansin. Tapos I think nag-CR na ako, parang ganun. Hindi ko na maalala yung buong show, basta yun. So yeah, super junior, as in, ngayon na-outgrow ko na yung, thank God, na-outgrow ko yung super fangirl ko. Kasi imagine guys, how much yung price ngayon. Kaya, uh, there's also this one. Let me just show you this. 2 p.m. Oh, remember 2 p.m. Hanggang ngayon, crush na crush ko si Nico. Nico. So, yun nga. Ang, ang gastos. As in, ngayon, pag nakikita ko online, yung mga K-pop fans, oh my God, yung collection nila. How can you afford that? As in, ang mahal. Ang mahal ng mga album, ng mga... Ngayon, may uso ng mga light stick. Ang Super Junior light stick nila is blue lang na ganyan. Na may nakalang yung Super Junior. Tapos yun, ngayon, may yung BTS na ganun. Oh my God. Parang... <sighs> Ang sarap mag-reminis ng time when I was fangirling. Pero ngayon, guys, tipid-tipid tayo. Mm -mm. And for me, parang isa sa mga lessons na... LESSONS! <laughs> Hindi, parang... Kasi as in noon, I had no regard for money. Sige, bili-bili ka. Tapos yan, adult na tayo. Kailangan na mag-ibon, best. So, and also before, when I was like obsessed with... K-pop, all these artists. Parang feeling ko yung mundo ko, sila na yung laban. Which is, now, as an adult, it's... I realize that, it's, like, especially when I watch certain uh, fans online, yung mga, ano tawag dun, sa, saseng ba yung tawag dun, yung obsessed na sila. That's too much. For me, ginagamit ko sila, especially with BTS. Oh my God, super sikat na sila. And ako, I kind of hold back a little parang ayoko masyadong mag fan girl with BTS kasi I know how expensive it is to kind of be that dedicated to them so pag feeling ko mag spiral ako I try not to to kind of obsess over them too much or try to watch their content so much so ang lesson dito <laughs> is magtipid ng pera and just use this artist or yeah, this artist as your inspiration para i-fulfill mo din yung dreams mo. Parang hindi lang dapat silang yumayaman at kumikita. Gana! <laughs> no, but seriously, guys. Use them as an inspiration to also pursue your dreams. Kasi with BTS, yun yung, siguro, I saw yung parang evolve, evolu evolution. I mean, yung evolution ng the kind of music that artists did back when they were younger compared to now. Parang nung bata sila, it's more on making money, di ba? Parang numbers, numbers, numbers. But for example, with BTS lang specifically, ngayon mas may laman yung mga kanta nila, di ba? Parang it's about mental health, loving yourself, you know, shutting down the haters, mga ganun. So... Diba kung yung favorite artists natin nag-grow and while supporting them, nagawa nila yon bakit tayo hindi natin kaya? Parang kung gagastusan mo, ran, kung gagastusan mo lang din sila yung merch nila or whatever, bakit hindi mo gamitin din yung effort, money na dinededicate mo? to also work on yourself. Diba? Parang, gastusin mo din sarili mo, be. Okay? Pa-therapy tayo, ganun. Paspa ka din. Treat yourself. Ganun. Mag-grow ka din, just like your favorite artists. Okay?